Good afternoon. We are here with Guy Rouleau. I am Dr. Viseda Feliciano, and we are going to have a roundup of today's sessions. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, which session did you attend today? I attended the, uh, the plenary sessions. Uh, and then I uh, attended the Tournament, Tournament of the Minds, which I, I discovered yesterday, actually as a kind of a fun, uh, a fun thing. Uh, I certainly didn't score very well, but, uh, but that's okay. It was still, it was fun, it was interesting. Uh, and then I was part of the, the session on, uh, on ataxias. Uh, and uh, other than that, I, I had business meetings, so I was uh, in the meetings, uh, other kinds of meetings. What were the most exciting topics that you? Well, you know, if I think uh, the most exciting for me was was the plenary session. Uh, I thought there were two great talks, uh, which is like, you know, like two different worlds of neurology. I mean, one of them is uh, was about Rett syndrome, and it was discovery, but really focused on finding uh, treatments and figuring out how the biology of disease works and, and how we can help people with the disease. Neurodevelopmental disease affects children as of two years of age, uh, even though it, it, it spans from, you know, death in utero to uh, milder problems later on. Uh, that was a fascinating talk by one of the, the world leaders uh, in neurogenetics, uh, so yeah, Dr. Yeah, Huda Zogby. And then, then there was a talk uh, on uh, on uh, neuro uh, neuromyelitis optica, and uh, and that was I thought what was interesting about that was was really digging down into the details and trying to figure out uh, what are the specific subgroups, and it's kind of very classic neurology of uh, of classifying and re reclassifying, but very relevant because it really determines prognosis. And it determines treatment. So it's like this is great neurology. So I thought that was fun. Yeah, I think that it's very fun how we are being advancing the treatment options. Yeah, this is a disease that was described, I don't know, 25 years ago. And now, you know, where you're sub separating it out in different subforms and, yeah. you know, very good science, very good medicine. Uh, I thought that was fun. And then at the at the uh, ataxia session, it's ataxia and other neurodevelopmental disorders. What I like is it was all the young people, and uh, there, you know some new diseases, uh, FGF14, uh, turning out to be one of the most common causes of ataxia. Uh, you know non non motor or non non motor signs and and problems in ataxias. Very original kind of thinking. Uh, so I, I kind of thought that was a, that was a fun session. Yeah. Many more. Uh, what do you think about the changes of the program of this year? Well, there were a couple of novelties this year. Uh, there were the coffee talks, uh, and uh, I thought that was that was fun. They were fun. Uh, I only attended one of the coffee talks, but uh, uh, but I thought that was a good innovation. There was a meet the plenary speaker, so I, I think that's a great idea. I, I don't have any feedback uh, other than from some of the speakers who, who told me that they very much enjoyed speaking to, to people in it. It was, at least in certain circumstances, had more to do with, you know, uh, career and, uh, and, uh, and how, to, how to evolve as opposed to the, the science, so I thought that was a, a good innovation. Well, but it's a good innovation because people that are growing uh, sometimes need some yeah it's some the advice. the very senior even mm -hmm. though not necessarily old but more you know very accomplished i should say uh interacting with some of the young people i thought that was fun mm -hmm. uh there was the other there was this uh, session also uh with young neurologists and uh they uh well there were sessions that they organized uh which were good which were great but then there was kind of a little cocktail-y kind of thing. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and I went there and uh, I was uh, bombarded with questions and, uh, <laughs> uh, and you know, good questions and uh, a lot of energy, positive energy. Uh, and uh, we went way, way over time, 
way over time. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Do you have any closing words? Well, you know, I think, <coughs> I think, you know, there's some really positive aspects of this meeting. I mean, one is a variety of countries represented. I shouldn't say countries because they're member societies is what we talk about. In fact, uh, there were more countries represented than there are countries part of the World Federation of Neurology. Uh, so that's, uh, that's really quite, quite exceptional. Uh, I've heard from everybody I spoke to, hopefully they were all being, you know, honest because, you know, I'm not just trying to tell me what I want to hear, but I think they were that the program in general was excellent. There was very good, very good science, very good education. Uh, uh, I heard comments about it being, you know, very evidence-based and so I think very good, very good quality. Uh, there was a good vibe too, like a lot of people from all over the world and I met uh, many of my neurology colleagues from many, many corners, including Puerto Rico. We had a very good chat the other day uh, yes. and I very much appreciate that. Uh, and, uh, and I think that, you know, it's like a, a good place to make friends and to uh, develop contacts and, uh, and to learn. So uh, I think this has, been, this has been really very positive for me. So this has been Vicela Feliciano from Puerto Rico reporting.